Hey, Eckhart's family. Hope everyone's doing well. Oh, Wazowski. Fun-filled evening planned for tonight. Well. So for this video, pretty much just wanted to show you uh, what goes into a screen change. Um, information purposes and transparency purposes. Friendly and informational. I actually spoke with a friend of mine and said, well, aren't you going to be worried that losing business? Well, look, not particularly. I mean... YouTube exists, so I'm pretty sure you could find any video like this on YouTube itself. But at least it shows why you pay the prices that you do. Why? 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 So when it comes to third-party repairs and smartphone repairs as a whole, there's not a lot of communication out there. You don't know why you pay those prices, and you just kind of take it for you take their word for it. That we can actually get more power into third party repairs and people paying more affordable prices is if we actually take the power away from the large conglomerates that don't particularly want to share this information. So that's the whole point of the video is I just wanted to have that transparency and show you what goes into it. And at the end of the day, they are expensive devices. Please give it to your local technicians. If you don't know anyone who can do repairs on phones, I do know two technicians who will be quite helpful. Hint, hint, nudge, nudge. That's my boy. You rep the same smart tech. I wanted to get the screen protector removed before we actually go into opening the phone itself. Because this is quite an old protector that actually needs to be removed. Simple as that, a strong fusion between uh, the two items. Originally I was going to open up this iPhone 11, but so before we crack on into this phone, quick first watch check. Wearing the Invicta, I should have uh, figured out the model before the video, huh? Um, let's just do a quick Google search, how's that? I mean, I'm a big fan of Invicto, but I'm not sure specifically uh, the specifications behind this one. You, you could, you do, you, you want to... This one. If we look on the balance bar back here, there it focuses. Uh, there's definitely a serial number there, so... It just be getting a little loud sometimes. Let's pop it into Google, and let's see, yeah. Oh, well, perfect. Looks like I have searched for this one before. That's definitely it. Majority of the information on it for anyone who is interested. Thanks very much to this website. Yeah. I think my laptop's too happy with me having iMovie and screen recording on. Back to the video. Proprietary pentalobe screw that's required in order to open the device itself. So this so. is going to be your hardest part is actually opening the screen and uh, getting the screen removed from the actual rear housing. Anybody want to take a guess what happens if you go in at the wrong angle or if you do not put the appropriate pressure in the appropriate place? Uh, crack. Yep, that's pretty much what happens. Just using isopropyl alcohol. Uh, we use isopropyl alcohol because it's non-conductive and it evaporates quite quickly and there's less likelihood of the phone actually being affected by using too much heat and damaging some of the LCD. Here's pictures. the power supply at 4 volts, and I'm going to connect this thin wire to it. And you can see how the wire melts and burns under. So now that we got our alcohol in, ensure that our pentalobe screws are off. We want to stay away from the home button itself because once this is damaged, we won't be able to have touch ID or touch functionality without taking it back to the equipment manufacturer to get them to program it in. Now that we've got an entry point, we can start to open the, the remainder of the phone. I personally use the metal pry tool. For those technicians who aren't too experienced with the models that they're working on, they are flex cables either located at the top, the left, or the right phone. And as you can see, the flex cables are actually located on the top of the phone here. So if you break these flex cables, you're going to be in store for a much more costly repair. 
and I don't think the customer will be too happy with you. They're gonna have to be ducking and dodging. So if you do it right the first time, won't be any need to hop in. What do you think would be the next step? Have a coffee? Yes. It's time for coffee. The first thing we want to do is disconnect the battery. Uh, this is another reason why you want to have a qualified technician opening the phone and actually doing conducting the repair. Man did English language. Yeah. E. You know what that is. E. Man got E for excellent. You know excellent. what that is. Um, for the uninitiated. But we are initiated. Most likely they'll be opening the phone, still have the metal pry tool in hand, and attempt to remove the actual shield with the metal pry tool. But having this bad boy, disconnect that bad boy, uh, is a no-no. Left cable that needs to be removed, um, using your plastic spudger of course, and not your metal pry tool. Now I move on to the removal of the shields, in order to take out the forward facing camera and the home button. These two devices are paired to the actual device itself and if they aren't removed you won't, you won't have touch ID but on later models you won't have face ID. So I'll break it up into two parts and we'll move on to the actual screen removal on part two. Next episode of Dragon Ball Z.